Hello and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. In this module, we'll be looking at missing object level access control. We'll also go through some causes and preventions of vulnerabilities in this category. Object level access control acts as an authorization mechanism. Access control is generally set up at the code level to determine which objects a given user can and cannot access. Failure to set up object level access control can leave records or other objects open to unauthorized access or modification. To understand missing object level access control, let's look at an example. A B2B project management application has a listing page that includes contact data for each of its business users. An attacker inspects the browser, requests and sees that API endpoints are used as a data source for the contact listing and sees the following pattern. Slash clients slash client name slash account contacts dot JSON. The attacker uses a different API endpoint to get a list of all of the businesses using the app. Then she creates a script to insert the names into the URL and gets the list of all of the app's business users. So without the appropriate object level access control in place, the attacker can gain access to all of the app's client contact data. To prevent missing object level access control, developers should ensure the authorization mechanism is set up based on the application's user policies and data level access hierarchy. Perform checks to see whether users have access to perform the requested action for each function. If possible, use random values that are difficult to predict as globally unique identifiers to ID records. Ensure there are tests in place to evaluate the access control mechanism. Congratulations, you have now completed this module.